are we in or are we out? Damn, that's a bit loud on the headphones. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. Hopefully everybody can hear me. Welcome to Smoker's Choice. Smoker's Choice is where I just play any of the games that I enjoy playing. Yeah, so Smoker's Choice is just where I enjoy playing the games that I enjoy playing. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, I'm just going to be chilling there playing a bit of State of Decay for a little while. And I'm going to do a bit of talking about State of Decay as well, I can't lie to you because... I can't even remember when this game came out actually. When, damn, when did this game come out? I think it was 2018, wasn't it? So if somebody can correct me on that anyway, but I think it was 2018 that this game came out. And I was very much looking forward to it anyway because I really did enjoy the first State of Decay when I stumbled upon it. And I tell you, I'll never forget stumbling upon the demo on my 360 because I tell you that, the free game that I ever had, PlayStation 2, some of the I've ever had PlayStation 1 some of the best gaming I've ever had it's because of Gator heavy today that like, you know what I'm saying like yes I fucked with it but um yeah man stay of the key I played the demo for it so obviously it was kind of just like it's like um, up in the uh, Montana parts like you know what I'm saying but I just fell in love with the characters I fell in love with the character of Marcus Meyer and Ed and um even just like the whole scavenging part of it, I was just like, whoa, like I've never played like a game like that. And I love zombies, I love anything to do with zombies. I'm telling you now, like, you know what I'm saying? It's because of zombies, what I'm saying to myself as well. I say to my dad a lot of the times as well. I'm like, look, I don't care whether I'm 60 years old, I'm going to be a movie director, and the first movie I ever make will be a zombie movie. I don't care if we've got 10 million zombie movies out at the time, I'm making a zombie movie, you know what I'm saying? But I fell in love with State of Decay. I fell in love with the characters. Sam, Sergeant Tan, uh, Job, Jacob, you know. Like, even some of the missions. The missions were pretty decent in it as well, like, you know. But, so State of Decay 2 arrived and I was looking forward to it. But it was just pretty much just like a breakdown sandbox. That's what it was. It was like breakdown. There wasn't much to the story. And the characters are pretty much unforgettable too. I'm going to be honest to you guys. For the longest time that I've been playing... State of Decay 2 since its release I don't particularly care to remember or know any of my my survivors names I know most of the things that I always kind of look for I'm just like oh. yeah I'll be there in a minute I know most of the things that I always look for whenever I kind of start a new game I typically try to look for this guy because he reminds me of Marcus I typically try to look for him he reminds me of Marcus so I try to have him in my squad but essentially everybody is the same face essentially everybody like the NPCs or the characters or the survivors that you use in this game they're all the same face with just a different name or maybe a different hairstyle you know what I mean and it's just like like it doesn't it doesn't hit you like it doesn't hit you like the first game you know what I mean and I think even like I think that has something to do with the skills of the characters that you use in this game at the same time because if you remember in the first game, I think it was only Marcus, I think only Marcus and Ed were like the, the actual kind of like, like they had a skill being born leaders, you know, like if you kind of check the journal for Marcus and I think it was Ed, I think Ed was the second one, but I know that was it, there were only two, there were only like two natural born leaders in your entire community, like the, your, your community that you had in State of Decay and it's like there was only like one doctor dr hansen you know so it's like you gotta try and save dr Ham. you have to make because without the doctor you laugh but like, unless somebody wants to learn but it's like essentially now nah, if you lose a character in this game with the permadeath that's why permadeath meant so much in state of the k1 like if you lost maya if you lost ed if you lost marcus like you felt that like i know i did i felt it when i when i when i first ever lost marcus to a feral because this was the first time I ever met a feral as well. I didn't know what the hell the thing was. I just heard the raw, And I was like, the fuck? And the thing came running out of nowhere. Anyone out 
running out of goddamn nowhere. Help. Oh, the bloody booze hounds. I'm tired of them guys, man. Right, we're on our way. I don't ever get the doctors anymore. But, um, yeah, I was killed by a feral, man. Marcus was killed by a feral. And I, I, I deleted the game. I mean, I restarted the game. I, I had to. I had to restart the game. I couldn't. Lie. That's Marcus. I got in the game with the poor leader. You know what I mean? And it's like you kind of go back to the base and then Maya has like, I think I, I think I ch the character changed automatically to Maya. So her, Maya and, and Lily, they kind of had like a little word and she was just like, I know Maya said something like, I, I barely even got to know him. Like, you know what I mean? Something like about he was, something about he had great character or something like that. I was like, damn, he freaking did and I'm restoring this shit right now. You know? But... We don't get that feeling from the permadeaths in this game, like you know what I mean. If you lose your, if you lose the person who, if you lose the person who's got a skill in medicine, you're like, oh, all right, it's no problem. I'll just recruit someone else and teach him, you know, or I'll recruit somebody else who has medicine skills. Or if they don't, then I'll just teach them medicine skills. So essentially, you don't feel the loss of losing a community member. You know what I'm saying? Especially somebody who has a skill, like it's, it doesn't really hit. It doesn't hit. It's like permadeath in this game. It's just like, yeah. It's all right. I'll get some real time, damn it. Ain't that a bad bitch? You better, you better get off my shit. Come on, man. God damn it. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Mash up my shit. And I just bloody fixed this car. All right. Let's have it. Who wants it? Who wants it first? Yeah. You wanted it. All right. Oh, have it. Have it. Have it. Have it. Oh. Have it. Have it. You. Yeah. Miss me, have it. Whew. Right. Now, where was I before I was so rudely interrupted by a bunch of Zeds? Hey guys, God he's damn underway don't. right now. We need reinforcements. But yeah, oh shit, someone needs a hand. I don't know, man. But one thing I'll give to them about this game is that they've been updating this game like a motherfucker since its release. There's been 20, what's it, 28, 20, no, 29 major updates. And some of these updates, I can't lie to you, they have made the game for them much better. Because this game wasn't pretty... I know quite a few would agree. Or whoever watches or listens to this video on Twitch or on YouTube, when I post up on YouTube. Like, you will agree that the game, when it first released, it was pretty bland. It was pretty bland. Sure, it was nice playing like an, an upscaled, updated state of decay compared to the first one, but... God damn it! What the hell? I come to help you, motherfuckers. Bitch, make motherfuckers. You know something sketchy guy. I knew it. I'm really dead though. I'm really dead. And you took off my other. I'm about to bust your shit. I'm about to bust your shit. Yeah, they did. Pussy yo. Get out, get out of here. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, I know, I know you people will pretty much agree that the the game was pretty much bland when it first dropped. I mean, I know it was kind of nice to have three different maps to play on, and it's like even looking at it now, we have we now have five maps and maybe like a sixth one coming. You know, like who knows? And then obviously with them working on State of Decay three, and I have so much hopes for State of Decay three. Like, I have so much hopes for some of the things that I've been hearing about the game or some of the people that they've been recruiting and, and what they have skills in when it comes to things like a, like a, a um, character customization in an RPG sense. And I think that's what we needed. We needed to be able to just create our own character so we can have the proper feeling of, 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 of trying to survive and live in a zombie apocalypse. You know what I mean? That's the whole... That's the whole point of this game. We wanna, we wanna put ourselves in these shoes. Because, like, I always kind of think about like, oh, it would be a zombie apocalypse. Like I can't lie to you. I would love it if there was a zombie apocalypse. I know that sounds kind of fucked up, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Shit, I see. You. But, uh, yeah, so we've had 29 updates, and the 29 updates since then, even from like the Juggernaut edition, from when they added it. And, Juggernaut edition seems so long ago now, doesn't it? It seems so long ago now. Even when you, when you, when you, when you, when you power up your Xbox, and then you go to State of Decay now, and it's just like 
the thumbnail for the game now is just like you're just used to seeing that juggernaut that juggernaut edition thumbnail for the game now but it wasn't like that before you mother f I knew there was one behind me you know I just knew it I hear it because I the headset a little bit low but I don't know something's up with my mic I'm not sure if if I can even be heard clearly at the moment but I know my last two videos that I've streamed it's been a bit it's been a bit low so I've tried to change up the volume a bit more but yeah I really do I have high hopes I have high hopes for State of the K3 and I'm glad that they aren't really telling us too much about what's going on with the game at the moment but I'll I tell you one thing I do want them to kind of go back to the whole sort of like you just kind of find yourself in this zombie apocalypse or you've been in the zombie apocalypse for a while and you just you go and look for your own community or you stumble across a you stumble across a community of 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 of, of already npcs like npcs that we can have a build a relationship with that we can fall in love with like not even just like romantically but just, i just mean in the sense of just like yeah i like that character i can remember that character's name i can remember that character and and their flaws and their their little whatever they you know like i don't know man we need more of that and we didn't get this in this game sure you had your legacies but the legacies are just like well like the warlord and the sheriff is just pretty much the same the warlord and the sheriff is pretty much the same the builder I mean like yeah you got a bunch of that like the builder is pretty much the only sort of one that gets close to what we kind of wanted when it comes to uh when it comes to like the when it comes to enemies in the game like you know like and and, and they charge at your base in numbers i think that's one of the things that we've always kind of wanted from this game in a sense and we got that but that's only on the builder legacy so you're just like well, like come on what, what's going on Where's the rest? You know, trader. You don't even. I don't even remember what happens much in the trader. I think the trader thing happens. Yeah, the same happens with the traders as well. I think. But again, you're just like, eh. Where's the story? I mean, even now in this Trumbull Valley map, I mean, I like some of the story. I don't like what they because I've completed it twice now already. Like the whole the whole stories of everybody on this, and you're all the way up there. God damn, you motherfuckers! I'm sorry, man. I'm gonna have to leave you lot. Cause I am not driving up them parts right now, my guy. Or maybe I should. Yeah, why not? Why not? Cause I hate doing that. Wait, hold on a minute. We got a zombie threat at home, and if I leave now, we're gonna use up ammo that I don't want to use up. So let's deal with it. But yeah, um, I've completed the uh, I've completed the main stories on this Trouble Valley map. Don't really like much what they done to Ray, you know. I mean, like yeah, I kind of get it, but just like the way his story abruptly ends, and you're just like, like, what well, is is that it? Like nothing else? Like Mickey doesn't call me to say he's burying him or something like that? Like nothing? We don't get much about what happened with Isby and, and, and at the Jurassic Park junction. Like all we see is that Malik Malik has a grave, so it's clear that Malik got killed in that in that in that zombie siege that happened over there, but probably because of Isby and her Cleo madness. You know? So but we don't even we don't even know what happened to, 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 to Mickey Wilkinson's door. That's what I'm saying. From Heartland. We don't even know what happened to her. We don't even know what happened to the other guy. In the other story, I can't remember his name. We don't even know what happened to him. See what I'm saying? And it's like, they put us back on Chumley Valley. Yeah, it's later. And the one thing I'm still I'm still asking for and praying for and hoping for, which is like some sort of some sort of closure, for me anyway, some sort of closure for what happened to Marcus, Maya and Ed. That's all I want to know. I just want to know what happened to Marcus, Meyer, and Ed. I don't want it left open in the air to be like, oh, maybe this happened, or maybe I'm they died, or maybe did. they're with the network, wherever the network are. Work. The last major update for this game where we can go and either see where the network are or where Red Talon are. Are they sitting in like the 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 the, the Lifeline City? Is it Drum? Is it is it Bramble? Drumble? Jumble City, Jumble Town, I can't remember. The Lifelines, Town, people, you, you, you know what I'm talking about. Like, where are they? 
I just want closure. I want closure. I'm glad I got to see Ray Santos again. Yeah, Mickey Wilson. Okay, yeah, cool. What happened to Job? What happened to Job? Huh? What happened to Job? We never found out in Heartland. We never found out in 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 in. Wait, did we find out in Heartland? I can't even remember because I only done I only done Mickey Wilkinson's daughter's mission once. Because like once you once you finish the Mickey Wilkinson sort of missions, you're just like that's it. You just you're, you're dealing with the plague rules and those missions. I think there's only I think there's like only about three or four of those Wilkinson missions and that's it. She's just like I don't want to know you anymore. You're and you're just like all right, cool, but. What happened to her? You see? And I like like I, like I said, I love what the devs what, what Undead Labs have done with this game since its release and all of the updates. Like I love it. I love it. But at the same time it's just like the most the simple things that man are asking for, like even better missions. Better missions where I don't get somebody calling me saying, Yo, can you bring us some food? And then when I bring them some food, they're staying in a tartan mart that I haven't even scavenged yet. And I'm just like, motherfucker, you're in a you're in a place that's got food. What are you calling me for food for? When you're in a place that's got food, can I get some better missions, please? Undead Labs, please, can I get some better missions? Can we get an update to Daybreak? Because Daybreak is still a bloody grind. It's still a grind to me, I'm sorry. This is going to be a rant. <laughs> it's just going to be a rant now. Because I feel like I've wanted to make this rant for a little while. And I've just become a streamer. So I want to start ranting about some stuff as well. About some games that... Because Pokemon's going to get it soon as well. Trust me. I've been a Pokemon fan for 25 years. I've been playing mainline games for Pokemon 25 years. I've always owned a Nintendo handhold. Specifically for Pokemon mainlines and a few Mario games here and there. Oh yeah, shit. I was going to help out my people a minute. My bad. God damn. And I'm here chit chat. You see what happens when you go on a rant? But, I don't know, man. We need something, man. We need something better. Something, something a bit more. See, look, there's the, there, 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 there's the city over there. That's the city I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? So I'm just like, what happened to some of those characters? Some of my, some of my beloved and most dearest characters I spent hours, I spent hours using in the original game, you know? That's all I want. I don't even remember what I was ranting about before until I got that, that radio call just a minute ago from the abandoned people. Bloody hell, I was on one a minute. I was on one just a minute ago and I can't even remember what the rant was now. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, it was Pokemon and it was and it was this game. But like I said, I've enjoyed this game and I've enjoyed the updates. They've made the game a whole lot better, but there could be so much more. Yeah, it was the daybreak. That's it. It was the daybreak. There hasn't been like no update to Daybreak since its inception, I don't think. Like if somebody can also correct me on that in the comments as well once I post this up on YouTube. And if anybody cares to even watch this 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 annoying or even listen to this annoying British guy and his opinions, his far ass opinions, you know? But if somebody can let me know in the comments, have has there been an update? Has there been an update to Daybreak since its inception? Uh, I don't think there has. And I think that says a lot. I'm on the way. I think that says a lot about Daybreak in general. And what the devs feel about it. Because I'm like, if they haven't even updated it, then what does that say? You know? like, what does that say? And because I came here now, I'm the more sweet smelling. I'm the more sweet smelling one, so it's going to come to me. So yeah, they need to update Daybreak. They have to. Like, they have to make it at least a little bit more simpler to get some of those prestige points. And don't make everything so expensive with those prestige points. Because even when you grind out a full game, and a full game, a full game with the seven waves is like three, five minutes. So even when you grind out a full game, you don't really get much. You get like maybe like a thousand, and then like you still unlocked much I'm just like damn man I was a bloody like I gotta do this again for about another seven times in order to unlock some of the things that I want because to be fair when it comes to the red talent the red talent mods like much oh, shit, here we go. Oh, you got it, back to hell. Ooh, damn I shot you in the face my bad yeah the only thing I like much 
Seriously. Is the uh, the Red Talent Watchtower? Oh, yeah. It's just so bloody awesome. The Red Talent Watchtower and the Red Talent Workshop and maybe the bunk room. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let me go and switch those lights off. That's just kind of annoying me right now. There's another one. Shut your mouth. So, yeah, man, that's what I feel though, man. I feel like there could be so much more to this game. Even though they've done so much to this game. And it's been brilliant. Like I said, it's been brilliant. It's been awesome. Okay. Like, I've enjoyed playing the game a whole lot more. Because I do, I do play the game often. I play this game very often now. And a lot of the times, it's not really to just kind of pass the time. I just kind of enjoy playing. And I just enjoy being in the sandbox of this of this game. You know what I mean? So, oh yeah, they're all craftsmen in there. Uh, you got two craftsmen and and I think a people skills person. I don't need that. And I can't find no books on this map. Can anybody tell me where I can find the books on Trumbull Valley? Because the only ones I've found it are utilities and gardening. I haven't found a single medic book. I know I can I can upgrade. I can just get an outpost at an infirmary place and then upgrade and all of that. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. As influence, I don't have right now. Look, I'm cheap. 2,705. I'm cheap. I'm frugal with my influence. <laughs> I say that, but then if you guys actually watch me play this game for about two hours straight, you see how much I just, I just, I just set up an outpost and then get rid of it because it's convenient and then quickly move on to somewhere else. But I don't know. Like I said, I just want closure. I just want closure for Marcus, Maya, and Ed. That is it. But let me let, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Hit me up in the comments. Follow me on Twitch, Stoner Boy, Stoner Boy, B W O Y. Find the link in the description. Anyway. Thank you for listening to this annoying British guys, man. Peace.